At the recent Performance Racing Industry Trade Show, we caught up with Marvin Wood to talk about the Blockliner line bore system. And this type of system is designed to be used on any type of uh, vertical milling machine. It uh, can also be used on a CNC machine. It only requires some type of right angle drive and a, and a, and a feed system such as a power table to uh, actually do the, do the movement of the block because we're moving the block into the tool. As it's so yeah, if you had a manual mill with the right travels, all you'd have to do is buy a power feed and, and this right. unit here and that right angle drive and, exactly. and you could set her up. It's not a bad idea to have a riser block in, the, in most yeah. mills, but yeah. with this system you don't have to have it, right. but if you have a riser block then you can do other things on the block as well. It's great, or else they can buy it from you all ready to go, obviously. Exactly. We sell, a, we sell the tooling package complete with the setup bars, uh, setup Vs, all the tooling, the gauging, and so forth as a complete package uh, for an existing mill. If they need the right angle drive, we can also uh, source that for them as well. So, And, it can, and it's available whether you're using a, a, an R8 system or whether you're using a Cat 40 system. Where's everything made? Where's it coming from? The this unit is manufactured uh, in Sweden uh, by Hank Nordstrom of Turnick Corporation. Okay. Uh, Hank is a longtime drag racer and machinist, and he designed this system for his own use for Mopar blocks, um, for his drag ra for his racing industry, and has started selling it to other customers. So. It's become very popular in Europe and uh, now in the U.S. It's designed for doing V8s. Okay. It's designed for doing V8 blocks, but we can do anything from small block, big block Chevy, small block, big block Ford, Mopar, any of the Mopar blocks. In addition to that, these plates carry certain configurations. Generally speaking, each the plate will handle at least four different block configurations, V8 block configurations. But if there's some special application, such as Ferrari or whatever that a customer would want to be able to do, we can make special plates for those applications as well. So, yeah. so they could use the same spherical bearing, they just get a new plate there, or is that right. the way it works? Right, exactly, yeah. The setup is all the same, it's just the, it's just the precision plates and the way that they um, attached to the end of the blocks is varied. Why would somebody want to go with this system versus something else that's on the market? Well, there's many uh, large line boring machines on the market uh, take up a, a tr an incredible amount of space, floor space. Uh, this unit uh, allows you to take the system off of the mill and use your mill for other applications, which is often the case. Many people already have a mill in their shop. Many of the shop owners already have those. So it's not like they have to go out and buy another piece or find a place to put it. So more floor space. Um, another big advantage is over some of the systems that use uh, right angle boring attachments and things like that, a through bar is much more accurate because we're uh, referencing from the ends of the block. So and, and controlling the um, through, through a, uh, a fixed through bar as opposed to uh, moving the location every time when you use a right angle boring head. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I could see this has a huge advantage over moving a right angle all the time. You have a lot of opportunity for error. Whether it's in the, in, in, in the table or the work head, uh, as you move from location to location, because we're not doing that, we don't uh, we don't run the risk of introducing those kind of errors into the work. So. That might be the number one advantage in, to the system. <laughs> we think it's a huge advantage to the system. Yes, wow. yes, absolutely. Yeah. What kind of uh, RPM does it turn at to cut, and what kind of cutters does it use? Twelve hundred RPM, and we're and we're using carbide cutters. Um, we have a specialized. Uh, where's the tool? We have a, a, a three angle, three angle tool so that you know they're indexable, they're settable. You can also we have micro feed on the tool holder itself. It's built in. Um, we also have uh, setting devices that allow you to transfer that information from one bore location to another. The bar has you know numerous locations for the tool uh, to be in the bar. We also have a, um, a bore gauge that allows us to 
check the check the bore in the main saddles without removing the bar. Yeah. And somebody that's uh, skilled uh, with this setup, uh, how long to do like a small block Chevy? What's a typical time? How long is it taking? Two and a half, three hours. Two and a half, three hours? Yeah. Okay. The first time we tried it from block on the floor, right. up and bore it down three hours. How does that compare to other systems? Is that comparable, slower, yes. faster? Yes. That, that's very comparable. It's, it's, uh, it's like any other uh, tool setup or fixturing setup. Once you've done it a couple of times, it always gets a lot easier because you're more familiar with the setup and so forth. If you're doing the same types of blocks over and over, that certainly makes it faster as well. Total setup time typically is, a, is a, um, from floor to floor, finished job, can average between two and three hours. So with that type of uh, alignment system, it also allows you with this plate system to do the cam tunnels the way we have it set up now, or by removing that plate, flipping it over, we can do the main saddle bores as well. But through the use of this plate, we can also certify the distance between the center, the center lines between the cam and the crank and correct them if necessary. How's that work? The, uh, the, the alignment of these spherical bearings are all adjustable. So we have a gauge that allows us to ah, check that okay. distance. So you know exactly where right, they're at. Right, right, and then you can right, between. right. And then we can put that on the factory specification or the specification we want it to be right. so that we can either realign through the main saddle or re realign through the cam board itself.